hello students today we will discuss about the applications of gauss theorem and we have first application of gauss theorem is electric field intensity due to a charged sphere that is a solid sphere let we have is solid sphere of radius r capital r and this is completely solid and it is having charge plus q in it plus q charge is uniformly distributed inside this so theory portion will be let any solid sphere of radius r having plus q charge uniformly distributed over it and sigma is the volume charge density right such as sigma is equals to dq by dv now we have to calculate electric field intensity at point p which is r distance apart from c let this is c point c is the center of the sphere case 1 let p lie outside the sphere that is r is greater than r so in that respect we will take a point p here at distance r unit now we have to take one gaussian surface along this and let this is the normal this is having surface area ds now this is our gaussian surface okay using gauss theorem using gauss theorem e dot ds for a closed surface that surface must be closed equals to 1 by epsilon not into how much charge is present within this gaussian surface that is plus q into q okay we want e so e into ds is equals to 1 by epsilon not into q now e into what is the surface area of this gaussian surface that is 4 pi r square 1 by epsilon not into q so we have e is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon not q upon r square it means E is inversely proportional to R square. This is first point. Okay. Now second point. K 
case 2 when p lie on the surface that is r is equals to r in this respect this will be the point p and this will be the gaussian surface okay having distance r that is equals to capital r so this will be the gaussian surface using gauss theorem E dot ds is equals to 1 by epsilon naught into q because still total charge is q within this radius. So E into integration of ds is 4 by r square 1 by epsilon naught into q. As r is equals to capital R. So E is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q upon r square. Since this is constant term, Q total charge is constant and radius is also constant. It gives us constant because we are at the surface, so maximum value. Okay, this was the case 2. Now, case 3 when point P lie inside the sphere. that is R is less than capital R. For this we have to choose the point within this sphere and this is P. For now this will be the Gaussian surface. Okay, As we have total charge Q within volume V but now we have only this volume V dash so V dash is having charge Q dash right it means 4 by 3 pi R cube is having a charge plus Q and unit volume is having Q by 4 by 3 pi R cube and 4 by 3 pi small R cube is having multiply this one 4 by 3 pi r cube 4 by 3 pi cancel so in this volume we'll be having charge q dash is equals to q into r cube divided by capital r cube okay so we can use this value by using Goes theorem E dot ds is equals to 1 by epsilon. We can't use epsilon node because now we are within the sphere, so epsilon because it consists of medium into q dash that is equals to 1 by epsilon into what is the value of q dash? q dash is equals to q into r cube over r cube. So put the value of ds ds is 4 by small r square that is equals to 1 by epsilon into q r cube by capital r cube so we can cancel r square to power 3 so e is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon into q into r over r cube from this relation we can cal we can say that because this is a constant value and r cube is also constant q is also constant so we can say that e is directly proportional to r this was the second equation and this is our third equation if we plot one graph for all three cases then we will get one thing that is x axis represent the distance and y axis represent the electric field intensity okay 
so if we are at the origin if we are at the origin means at this center then the small r will be zero so if r is zero then electric field intensity will be zero now electric field intensity is zero as soon as we are moving away from the center towards the surface that is that gives the directly proportional it means it shows the directly proportional and when we reach to the surface it give us the maximum value at r equals to capital r beyond this we can get that relation e is inversely proportional to r square so it will represent this value so this is e directly proportional to r and this is inversely proportional to r square and at this point we are having the constant and maximum electric field intensity due to the charged sphere this was the first application